Israeli airstrip, uh, airstrike rather, in Gaza. Dozens of civilians reportedly killed. The backlash spread to the U.S. as protesters shut down a major freeway in Southern California. ABC's Perry Russum has the latest. This morning, the Biden administration is reportedly assessing whether this Israeli airstrike in Rafah Sunday crossed President Biden's red line. The attack leaving a refugee camp engulfed in flames, people screaming in horror. Fifty people were killed, hundreds injured, according to the Hamas-run health ministry. This woman saying, we were here in tents and suddenly we found rockets falling on us. There is nowhere safe for us to go. Her family now forced to move for the eighth time. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calls the airstrike a tragic mishap, saying there was a technical failure that will be investigated. The Israeli military says it was conducting an intelligence-based strike which killed two senior Hamas officials and that it regrets any harm to uninvolved civilians during combat. The deadly strike targeted a location only 650 feet from a designated humanitarian area. More than one million Palestinians have fled to Rafah during the war to seek refuge. President Biden earlier this month threatened to withhold weapons from Israel if its forces enter the city. I made it clear that if they go into Rafah, they haven't gone into Rafah yet. If they go into Rafah, I'm not supplying the weapons that have been used historically to deal with Rafah, to deal with the cities. The attack on Rafah sparking protests here in the U.S., pro-Palestinian demonstrators blocking this freeway in Los Angeles. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.